show you some tools that you can use in Excel to manage data. We're going to be collecting some in a survey, but just for this example, I'm just using some random data that I got off the internet from this site called random.org, uh, which was quite good in terms of just generating some random data. It's actually surprisingly hard to get random numbers, or truly random numbers, but let's have a look. The first thing I want to show you is a very good trick that's built into Excel. It's going to colour code the data with the highest numbers green and the lowest numbers red. And you've probably seen me do this on my, um, on my mark book. So I select the data, I go to the Home tab, Conditional Formatting, Data Scales. And I'm just going to choose that first one there, but there are other ones that do different things. The good thing about this is I can look for the most green number and tell you that the highest number is 49 and I can look for the very reddest number which appears to be, looking among the red numbers, it's 3. So the range of the numbers here is between 3 and 49 so I can very quickly work out my range. Here's the second thing that I can work out. I can work out the total and I do it this way. I go to that cell and I type in equals sum. Now sum is the maths name for total, sum brackets, and then I select all that data. There we go, and I close the brackets and I hit enter. So the total of all of those numbers is 418. The mean, which we've spoken about before, is actually in Excel called the average, and if you start typing it, it'll actually bring up the rest of it there. So the average bracket, now the reason for the bracket is you're telling it what you want the average of. There you go, and you close brackets to say I'm finished, so it's everything from B2 to B21, and the average is 20.9, which kind of makes sense if they're random numbers between 1 and 50. And the last thing I'm going to work out is the median. Now the median is if you line up all the numbers from biggest to smallest, this would be the number in the middle of that line. So let's have a look at that. Equals, MED, there it is, median, brackets, I select my numbers again. I could type them in if I was super clever. The medium is 19.5. Now. I know why that is, because it's actually between two numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab this data, and it won't change any of these figures because they're still the same numbers. I go up to the Data tab, and I'm going to sort it. So I'm going to sort it, column B, sort by data, on values, smallest to largest. Fine. There you go. So now it in fact changes as you would expect, from darkest red to darkest green. And halfway down, Oh, I know, yep, we've got 20 things, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, there's 10, so the median value is actually halfway between 10 and 11, that's why it's 19 and a half, so it's not actually a number that sits on the page. So, that's how you do those three things, and we're going to be doing that with a bunch of, uh, bunch of data, I beg your pardon, that we have collected.